I'm gonna take a look at this uh, solar charge controller we got. It's the uh, Victron MPPT 150. Okay, so I always use marine grade stranded wire. Um, the problem with the stranded wire though is I feel like it doesn't like, it can be kind of tricky getting it in these little screw on terminals. So I had this idea ferrules or something so you just crimp them on the end and it basically kind of turns it into like a solid it came with like this tool so let's give that a try this is 10 gauge wire oh that looks good oh very nice see that it's pretty good but it was really on olivia's boat her solar is kind of just would not like just keep stay connected and the wires were all green you know because the water gets everywhere and like you could just hardly fit it in there and then you have to wiggle it every 10 minutes um i think this will solve that problem i'm looking in here for a spout to mount mount this guy looking for a good spot it's getting kind of cramped but i think back here looks like it might just fit that looks like a good spot so i'll just screw that guy in there and then I can reuse, there's another cable pass through glands I can reuse for the old little mini solar thing. That's for the battery cable. I ran my wires out here. Um, this tape was just because I couldn't use it for a couple days. Okay, so now I got my, my solar connectors. Finally came right, there, right here. Um, so I just crimp these on the wires. And then I'll be able to hook up this panel. Crimp this uh, metal thing on there. And then I'm gonna slide a little heat shrink over it just to kind of glue it in place all right so i got these hooked up now and i checked and i'm getting a uh, some current so now i just need to make an extension cable so i can put it up on the uh the bimini and then i need to get a second one i ordered two but only one came for some reason so right now i'm just lashing this uh, solar panel down right here i think eventually i'll get three three of them these are 100 watt panels and uh, what i'm using to lash it down with is this uh this Dacron line. They sell it as antenna guideline wire, and it's really cheap. It's like 40 bucks for a 500 foot roll. Um, it's UV resistant, so it's really nice, and it's real strong too. So it's like, I, there's so many uses for it. It's nice to just have a big spool on hand for whatever you need. Like something like paracord would just just deteriorate after a few months in the sun. Uh, this stuff will last. You can keep it up permanently. There it is, it looks pretty good. I kind of see, this happening in any type of wind like it's just driving me crazy but eh, give it a try it's good to try the most simple solution before you get more complicated if anyone has any better ideas let me know just made this uh little solar extension cable let's take it out and give it a try i got that all hooked up right here let me connect to the app and see if we're getting any volts so looking at the app it looks like i'm getting about 60 watts in the sun and 25 when it's behind the cloud. Sounds about right to me um, for a 100 watt panel. Uh, so yeah, that's one project down. And I know it doesn't seem like a ton of power, but it should be enough to be able to run my anchor light and my cabin lights um, and charge my phone, which is uh, all I, I really need mostly. 100 watts is basically what I had when I sailed to Hawaii. Uh, so I know it's, it's enough for me, um, but I would like to get a little refrigeration eventually. So I'll probably add more. And this is a good step towards being independent, um, being able to just stay at anchor without having to worry about batteries and running the motor. I'm mounting this uh, fishing pole up here. So it looks like it'll be fit nicely. That looks pretty nice. I'm trying not to mount too much stuff on the ceilings and the walls just because I kind of overdid it on my last boat and like every time you'd try to you know brace yourself you'd end up you know knocking into something and it was kind of annoying. So for today's videos I'm gonna start uh trying to use this microphone again Rode Video Micro. I was trying to use it before um towards the end of the Hawaii videos but uh my connector on my iPhone was too corroded I think it wasn't it was, it was a lot of times it wasn't getting any audio. So hopefully this will help with the wind noise. We'll see. And all this stuff like kind of connects together. You can kind of hold it or you can um, use it as a tripod. So it's pretty windy. Let's see. Uh, this is Pelican.
Pelican Bay Anchorage. Flip you around. I ran aground. Somewhere in there. Kind of made a mess, gotta clean up this anchor. There's a little more stretch I noticed in the uh, wind vane steering line, so I'm gonna replace them with some Dyneema. Stuff doesn't stretch as much. So this morning I'm still at anchor. I was um, setting up the reef. The reefs are kind of kind of hacked it together last time. So this will be better. I got both of them so I can do either one this time. Um, actually, I just noticed that is wrong. Just go to the other side. Okay, good catch. I found this, uh, this thing. It says it's called a wind scoop. It was in one of the lockers. And the best I can tell, it's supposed to sc scoop air down into your, your hatch. I don't know if it works, but it, it's pretty cool looking. I'm motoring out of the anchorage. Fun little chill spot. Wish I had a bee. I never went ashore. There's a nice little beach up there. Testing out this uh, whisker pole. I didn't have a uh, big enough ring up here. It's just like a mini one. Uh, so I just tied it off for now. I'm gonna go I'll probably buy one. Um, I'm gonna see if this pole, it's, it's quite long, but I think that might be good actually. Uh, we'll see. It's a little bit to, hand, uh, to manage. So it's steering herself. Well, here goes nothing. But... Can't really see it. Let me go forward and take a look. It's going a lot faster now. So I went out sailing for a couple days and I'm on my way back, back to uh, Punta Gorda, my friend's dock. Um, pretty good, I learned a whole lot. I, I finished, fixed a lot of little minor things. I redid my, how I had my reefs routed. I did a dozen different little tweaks to the wind vane. Um, I learned about how to switch between my water tanks, which I was only using one before. My piece of starboard plastic, uh, High density polyethylene with um, UV inhibitors came today. So I'm gonna replace this uh, temporary plywood door with that. Cool. So there's a little bit of a gap uh, in these doors. So I, I taped them on a piece of paper so I can make it these a little bit bigger. Oh, I need to take out this lock too. doors okay I got it roughly cut out it's looking pretty close um, I'm gonna need to get the plane and trim up these a little bit more because it needs to go a little bit a little bit down um, but that's good all right holes look like they line up good now and I'm going to shave a little off the top but uh, first, I think I'll put a little bit of a chamfer on there just to make it less of a, you know, sharp edge to hit yourself on. And then I can cut it in half. All right, we got two doors. This is always a fun part. So now I need to put a little bit of relief back here so that they can actually close. Because uh, they kind of bind up right now. 
So I'm adding this uh, a rubber latch here, um, and that's just to keep the doors from slamming around when I'm underway. I don't want to lock it when I'm, you know, uh, just when I'm sailing. All right, that'll work. Now I want to use this scrap to make a little bit of standoffs for the uh, for the ladder back here because so it'll kind of stick out. Good opportunity to use the dinghy. So I think I'll just do, I just need to do like a couple blocks back behind here. So basically I don't want the ladder to fold all the way up against the hole. Pop my finger behind, uh, between the uh, ladder and that exhaust outlet and it got me pretty good. I had some spare plywood so I made up some uh, extra wind wind vanes um, and I also made some smaller and some bigger ones just to kind of I don't know maybe experiment with that I'm not I think probably the the one that's designed to work is probably the only one that will be effective but I do know that sometimes when the wind really starts piping up um, it kind of starts going crazy so I thought maybe a smaller one might be useful I hope y'all are enjoying the boat project videos I got kind of a backlog of uh, boat project clips, so I'm gonna try to start posting uh, some of that each day. And then it's looking like the next couple of days will probably be still good to head down to the Keys. Um, so then that video should come out within, I don't know, a couple of weeks or so. Um, and I'll start posting more about like that, kind of more real time on Instagram. And um, if you wanna follow along that, there'll be links. Um, thanks for watching.